Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and welcome to the island of Utes or Utes, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I'll call it Utes in this video. Um, and something that I think is incredibly important and something we as a community should get behind and that is Bohemia Interactive bringing Utes to the main game. And specifically I'm talking about bringing it to console here as well. Because the problem that Daisy have, the devs have, and Bohemia Interactive have is the sheer cost of creating new maps, isn't it? You know, um, it's very, very expensive to make a new map. Lots and lots of uh, time has to be put into it. And the problem is they can't really just bring in uh, maps like um, Namalsk or Banov or Deer Isle from sort of third parties because of licensing issues. But Bohemia Interactive own Utes and it has already been converted to the DAISY version of the Enfusion engine. So they already own all of the assets. Most of the heavy lifting work has already been done and all they need to do, and I know this isn't completely simple, <laughs> they just need to update the map a little bit with some of the new models, add a few things in and create a mission file for things like zombie, well the infected, um, and um, uh, animals um, and uh, spawns for, for loot and things like that. But it's not a very big I island, Utes, um, and that shouldn't take too long. Just look at this. It's all, all the hard work has been done. You know, you could have this as a special little, I don't know, you say a maximum 10 person server that we could add to console and obviously PC as well. And it would be a very nice little addition to the game and I think something as I say that, I, that Bohemia Interactive and the Daisy devs could do relatively easily and <laughs> relatively cheaply in terms of money as well so the question is well, how how can we try and influence them to to get them to uh, to do this well I think you know we've got to tell them that's the main thing so what I'd like everybody to do and I'll put links in the description below this video is we're going to encourage um, the Daisy devs and Bohemia Interactive to do this. Now, first things first, the reason why I discovered Ute was playable um, in Daisy and Fusion was because Zib has uploaded it to the uh, Steam Workshop. And so, if you're on, and I'll put a link uh, in the description below the video as well. So, if you do have Daisy on PC, you can subscribe to Ute, so you can fire it up within the Daisy uh, uh, editor mod, and then you can walk around it or fly around it like I have. Um, and the, there, there's where Utes is in, in compared to uh, Chernerus. So Chernerus is here and Utes is normally down here. So you could argue maybe they could add it to the Chernerus map, but I think they should have it as a standalone thing. And here, this is the proof that, that you know, Bohemian Interactive own Utes and all the hard work has already been done because Utes, it's a, it's a terrain sample on the official Bohemian Interactive wiki. You know that they say you know use this as a train sample to practice modding and building terrains and making mission files and doing all that stuff if you want to be like a daisy modder use this so, <laughs> so it'd be really nice if they could just use this and add it in to the game now maybe it's the fact that maybe some of the people at daisy now and people actually don't know this exists and all this really good work has already been done so how are we going to help to um um, explain to Bohemian Interactive and the Daisy devs that we that we really want this to happen. Well, I think maybe one of the ways we could do it is with the Daisy and the Bohemian Interactive feedback tracker. So again, I'll put a link in the description below this video. And what you need to do is you go over to the tracker. You want to log in and create an account. And then what you do is you click on um, your little star thing here, and you go down and you you create a new Daisy Xbox bug report or a PlayStation bug report. And then within the bug report, write something like this. So I've written, please bring the Utes map to console. It just needs updating and a mission file. As you know, the Utes map from Armour 2 has already been converted to Daisy standalone version of Infusion, but it is languishing as a terrain sample over on the official Bohemia Interactive Wiki. The map itself is playable on Daisy on PC by loading it up in the Daisy editor mod and would be playable on a community server if it had an accompanying mission file. Now I haven't checked any PC servers to see if anybody's done this, um, but somebody might have already done it anyway. 
Being a very small map compared to Chernus and Livonia, Utes would run extremely well on console, especially PS4s and Xbox Ones, and would definitely be a viable, different experience. Um, let's get rid of that app. Perhaps with a 10-person population limit. It would it seems such a waste to leave this great little map languishing where it is and as Behemoth Interactive own all the rights to the map and its content already it would be fantastic if a mission file could be added and the map added to console which I'm sure wouldn't take up too many of BI's resources and would make us console players so 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 happy and you add that as a feature that you could put on and then you know and add whatever you want and then you know create a new task so that logs it and if lots of us create um, a Daisy and PlayStation bug report and PC as well as a feature. You know the the people who do the feedback track and can feed that back up the line and say, look, there's quite a few people who, who think this, and maybe these these feedback tracker reports will come across people's desks who didn't know that all this amazing work had already been done on Utes, and they just need to create a mission file, kind of give it a bit more of a polish, add a few more bits on. And then release it for console and and PC as well. Now the other thing you can do as well is this is uh, Daisy Twitter. I'll put a link to them in the description below this video. Um, what you could do if you wanted to was below this video there'd be a button that says share, so you could share it, grab the link, and then just you know share the video, but include at Daisy and hash Daisy um, in in your tweet. So that they kind of get an idea of what we're talking about because I don't know about you but I mean the fact that they've already done the work to create this landscape to create this terrain and all it needs is finishing off and I know you can, I, I've I said it before but I say it again to say all it needs is a mission file and all it needs is a polish and and adding some quality of life stuff you might say well okay that, that could take a month but okay let's say it takes two months to do this and then we have a situation where you have this island um, that you have, you know, 10 spawn points around, uh, so lots of spawn points around, but only 10 players can play it at a time. Um, I think it would be absolutely amazing. But what do you think, though? Put your questions and comments down below. But most importantly, if you think it's a good idea, get over to that feedback tracker and, and fill it out, you know, and share this video or a video you want to make or just comments that you want to make to the the great people at Daisy. And remember, always be positive in what you're doing because this is a positive thing. And who knows? You know, fingers crossed, touch wood, this could be a nice side project, even for someone like an intern at the, <laughs> Beam Interactive or, or, you know, a new person to the Daisy um, group. And um, I'm looking at you, Dance of Jesus, as well. Maybe you could do this uh, in your spare time or your paid time at work, what we're talking about. So there we go. Bring Utes, Utes, bring it to console. We want it. It's small. It will run well. And I would love to be off to play on this map on my Xbox and my PlayStation. Anyway, that's enough from me. What do you think? Put your questions and comments down below. And I will, of course, see you again soon.